Hi, and welcome back to Spine and Rehab Specialist for another Wellness Wednesday. I'm Earl Hayden, one of the physical therapists here. Joined again by Chris McMillan. Today, we're gonna to show you five different uh, exercise sequences you can use if you've had a biceps tear or pull. All right, so the first exercise we're gonna show is just basically, it's like a, it's a skull crusher or a triceps extension. So we wanna make sure that we can fully extend the elbow and the bicep can handle that stretch again. So you're just letting that hand come back down and then straightening up the elbow. If you need to, you can have the other hand right over here to support it. So this muscle can stay nice and relaxed. We always have to remember that the bicep does bend your elbow, but it also helps you with lifting it up, uh, lifting up the whole arm and even turning the hand over like this. So there's a lot of things we have to attack with this. So doing this anywhere between, I mean, 10 to 20 repetitions, just trying to chase that motion should be good. Once you've got the full range of motion back at that elbow, you want to make sure you can control the descent of that hand, just slow, gently working that muscle. So what Chris is going to do here, he's going to lift up his hand, so his other hand's doing all the work, and then slowly let this hand come all the way down. If you need to, you can always have your other hand there just as a support to make sure your hand, you don't just lose control and the arm didn't just drop on you, okay? Once you can do a good 20, 30 repetitions of this, and you're not having any more pain, you have good range of motion, you can definitely add more weight to this. And that's what you definitely have to do, because you want to make sure that muscle can handle that load. Once, you, once you're pretty good, and um, you're able to put a little bit more stress on that muscle, you want to introduce some other motions for the rest of the body, make sure the arm and the back are moving together. So we're gonna do a prone row. So Chris is just squeezing up with that shoulder blade and pulling up that elbow. We keep the hand pulled in. We're not turning the palm up or down. It's just facing in. Make a nice tight fist, squeeze, and pull that elbow up. And if this is too um, uncomfortable for you, then maybe spend some time with the other exercises. Once you can do this exercise for a good, like maybe like 30 repetitions, with good five sets of can hold at the top, and there's no pain, you can go ahead and start adding some weight. Once this feels good, you can even work on some other movements, going out to the side, so squeezing here. So you wanna make sure the rest of the arm is moving good. So being able to do sets of 10 with this should be fine. Once that's pretty easy, you can add some load. Once you're really good and your bicep is feeling a lot better, we can only work on going into a Y. So Chris is going to lift the arm up here. So we're working on the bicep being able to keep, support the whole arm and also help with elevating the arm over here and working on all these other muscles. Again, the other thing we want to make sure to do is make sure we can rotate that arm around. That's one of the biggest functions for that biceps muscle is being able to turn that palm up. So we want to work on being able to turn it up. So we're using a dowel here and Chris is just going from just rotating that palm up to palm down. That palm down position is going to put a little bit more stretch on that muscle. Again, you're chasing the motion. If this gets really easy, you're not having any pain, you can do good like 20 repetitions of this. You can add more resistance by either A, choking up a little bit more on that dowel, which is gonna shift more of that weight to the outside, add more resistance, or you can even put on a weight at the end of that or use something heavier like a hammer, okay? Again, good 20, 30 repetitions should be good. The last thing we're gonna work on is making sure we can lift that arm up overhead. So we're gonna start with just raising up the arms a little bit right about shoulder level. So this is called a scaption raise. So if we notice, we're not lifting the arms straight up in front like this. They're actually angled out a little bit out to the side. We have the back up against the wall to make sure we're keeping everything straight. We're not doing some compensatory arching of the back. So everything's just nice and level. So we squeeze and lift up. Once this is a lot easier and we're definitely having no more pain on that bicep, we want to make sure we can go all the way up. So Chris is now going to go all the way up, trying to reach back towards that wall. Okay, and again, we want you to have no pain with this movement. Once you do a good 10, 20 repetitions of this, and there's no pain, you can gradually start adding on some more load. And of course, your technique needs to be good. So those are five different things you can do, five different exercise things you can do if you've had a biceps tear or pull, and you're trying to 
either A, avoid having surgery, or B, you're getting your body ready and strong enough before you have that surgery. So give those exercises a try. And if you're still having problems with any of those things, um, maybe it's time to come see one of our physical therapists. We do a free consultation, take a look at how everything is moving and see if physical therapy is the best course of action for you, or maybe it's time to go and see your physician. So make sure and join us tomorrow on our Thursday for uh, Knowledge Thursdays with Harry, and he's gonna go over bicep tears and what they are and how they happen in more detail. And make sure to join us next Wednesday for another Wellness Wednesday, and where we're gonna give you more exercises, just give you more ideas how to move and how we can help you out with more stuff here at Spine Rehab Specialist.